All right, welcome to the third part. As it seems, it took me way longer than expected. Yay me. So let's go to the second part because, hey, we are actually, we haven't done too much besides importing a few things. So the first thing, let's go for the icons. Let's go then and take them away because I don't, I don't want to see that stuff. Three, yeah, go away. So today we're going to do the second thing, which is our um, spawner so therefore we just create a new object called obj spawner and then once again i wanted to introduce it to some icons therefore if we put them for example into the room the instances then this is pretty good and for example when we started like this we will hit a little problem <laughs> which isn't too good No, it's not gone. It's actually there. So therefore, this is good. But maybe we'll hit later on a problem. And then, of course, we need to fix it quickly. But of course, this is not a big issue. So what do we want our object spawner to do? Well, we want to spawn a few things. So first of all, we need a create event and an alarm. So after the alarm is running down, then boom, we are... Um, creating stuff and this is then just basically the spawners and technically very very easy to do for that first of all we will need to start our first alarm so let's go i don't know give it 20 steps so basically one third of a second and then we have a time which are called reset time and this uh, variable is just then reminiscent of a uh, of a time so let's say every second we will create one new tree left and right and of course what do we want to do well we want to reset the timer so every time we can loop through the thing and then hey we can do it again and again and again so i guess looping through the alarm is almost the same as for example the step event but the step event is like every step once but we don't want to do it like so frequently so therefore we just kind of have our own step event which is a little bit delayed so as you can see um, every second so basically not 60 60 times per second but just once so what do we do alarm set here we go zero index and then the reset time and then we will loop easy peasy stuff and now we come to the more interesting part first of all we have our spawner here but we want it to be relative in the center. For that, we need a few things. We need to have the middle position. Of course, if you have a rotating camera and all that stuff, well, we could do a little bit more, but for now, we're just gonna grab a few things, which is just the camera width and the camera height. Because the camera is not moving, we're gonna do it very, very quickly, and then we're gonna grab it relatively all the time in here. So. For that, we just say, hey, camera grab width. So we store in the variable the position of the width. And then we say, hey, camera get view and then width. And which camera? Well, come on, let's go and make this faster. Come on, come on, come on. I already did this so easy, peasy stuff. And of course, if you watch the, the previous tutorial, on basically this is the same code but we don't need the x and y position we just actually we can actually copy paste that stuff from there in here easy peasy stuff and now we grab the width and the height but now the position which we are getting is at the, the bottom right corner which is kind of suboptimal so therefore we just say hey divide it by two and then we are getting pretty much halfway in of the width and halfway in of the height which we definitely want so therefore what we do well we will create instances because we want to create our palm trees going down so instance create layer and therefore we are in passing those variables the height and the width but we don't want to be let's say completely in the center we want to be a little bit on the left and a little bit on the right so these things can go um, their way so therefore i just 
introduce a new variable i don't know let's call it buffer because this is a buffer from the center but of course you can call it distance x whatever it's just a number and then uh, what kind of input do we want to have let's see what did i use it was something like hmm where are you distance 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 okay it's something like 40 pixels so here we go and then we just go plus and then we want to create on our instances boom our palm trees and now i guess we will hit a little problem but let's see palm tree here we go of course this object we haven't created so far so we're gonna do it boom palm tree and of course give it a sprite here we go our tree sprite here we go sweet come on okay so now what is happening basically we will loop and then it will create a palm tree let's go and it should be the left side and now it's not there and then you're thinking wait a minute why isn't that working well because this thing has a depth issue so, so therefore what we can actually do is create another layer i don't know instances on top here we go and we create it on top so let's go and now you will see that it's actually there because um, the whole background boom now it's there as you can see this thing is kind of is on top of uh, the new created instances which is a bummer and therefore uh, a neat way is just to create a layer which is definitely on top of the things and of course it is below the logo because this is still a background thing so here we go we are finished with that and the palm tree is kind of let's see we should center it somewhere in the middle so the spawning is correct and it was a little bit big so let's close all that stuff so let's go into the palm tree and say like hey hmm, we are a little bit too big so what can we do well we can make ourselves a little bit smaller at the very beginning so we just change the image x scale and just give it a 0.5 value or whatever feels good to you so let's go and check it out and now of course there's still no movement nothing is going on and here this is definitely much nicer so the next thing which we actually want to do is to give it uh, some instructions so therefore we just store it into a variable so let's call var and call it left of course you can call it left palm tree or whatever but just call it left because a this is easier for me and hopefully for you too and then we're going to give it some instructions so first of all we give it a direction where to go and for example if you're going left well then we go 180 of course if you go right then the um, direction would be zero and then the next thing which we want to do is give it a speed value of course here you can play around with those values this is totally up to you what you think is correct and there boom give it three and of course what we can do is do the same stuff but for uh, right palm tree which is going to the right so as you can see boom boom copy paste copy paste bam and then of course let's go to the right with it and here let's go with minus buffer because we're going left and one we're going right and now you can see that there is actually some movement which is pretty nice so they are going nicely and this is still working not too good but we are getting where we want to get so for now the movement is pretty sweet with the palm trees but now we want them to grow so therefore we introduce another variable which how can i call it i don't know let's call it scale up so this will be a variable 
and then we will scale it up very very slowly with this value so we uh, copy paste that stuff go into the step event of the tree and then copy paste that stuff in and say like hey plus equals the scale up value so here we go and what is basically happening i'm just having this start value of 0 0.5 and then boom every time the step event takes the old value and then updates it or adds it to it the 0.02 as a value and let's check it out how it does look like go on go on go on and as you can see this already looks nicer but we come into a little problem as you can see the movement seems to be wrong and why is that well if you have something in the distance the movement if it's a little bit closer to you should be faster but here it appears that the movement in the background is faster but at the foreground it is slower but of course this is the same this is an optical illusion and therefore we need to adjust it a little bit of course just a tiny little bit therefore we introduce another variable which i guess called speed up and we're going to do the same stuff to our speed value so speed plus equals this speed up variable and now once the trees are going then they will be a little bit faster and then it feels definitely more natural because everything which is closer to you of course moves a little bit faster and of course in the background it moves slower so this is uh, the principle of parallax so here we go how long are we okay so we are almost finished because we want to colorize that thing and for that we have the color in our background which we already did here this is the uh, thing which we're just going to copy paste into the palm tree and here we can actually update our own color and we can actually do this with image blend was it blend yeah it's blend and then we just take the color of this one and then all of those trees will have this one color and therefore they will have a nice little effect in um, regards how we actually want to have and as you can see they will be adapted to the this specific color so therefore it looks a little bit more smoother so this is the one thing which i wanted to show you therefore we are pretty much finished did i want to show you anything else well yes we want them to wiggle but for that we need our next object which is the text spawner this is what we're gonna do in the third tutorial so third fourth i don't i don't know uh, <laughs> the next one so see you in the next one bye bye